What's up, you guys? This is your boy, Serial Bro. This is... Serial Warrior Princess. And together we are... The Serial Connection. The Serial Connection. So, before we even begin this grand Olympic event it's of someone, mass proportions... It's someone's birthday today, and her name's Roxy. Well, where do you know Roxy from? My school. Well, happy birthday, Roxy. Do, 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 do. Yeah! So everyone, you know we're not do. We don't usually celebrate everyone's birthdays because we don't really know everyone in this. That's true. So we don't cele So we don't celebrate people's birthdays, but we are celebrating my classmates. Very nice. So are you ready to begin this grand Olympic event? Dun, dun. We have to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I don't even know how we're supposed to start this, but. I am so excited. I'm really excited to share this with the Serial Warrior Princess. This is a phenomenal. I wish I had gold medals to give out, silver medals, bronze medals, but there are no losers here, really, to be honest with you. Yeah. Everybody's a winner. So are you ready? If we do that, then everyone's gonna be, why would you say that? Hmm. So guys, I so. Have coming with the international from Mexico, we have Jumbo Fruit Loops. From Canada, we have Fruit Loops. And from the good old US of A, Explosion, our good old regular Fruit Loops. I mean, they're all regular Fruit Loops, but, so we have USA versus Canada versus Mexico. What do you think, Serial Warrior Princess? Awesome! Awesome. So we're going to have a look at the boxes really quick. This is from here. This is from the USA box. Just your regular old, good old fashioned Fruit Loops. Got a little game in the back, which is cool, right? And here we have going crazy. the Canadian Fruit Loops. Uh, what's crazy about this box is it's basically the same in the front. I don't even know which is the front or back, to be honest. It's the same picture, so they just basically uh, superimpose both on both sides. Uh, so we have that, and then Jumbo Fruit Loops de Mexico, which is cool. It's just kind of crazy. It's basically, I'm assuming it's like the jumbo snack from here, jumbo, but just put jumbo, in as cereal. Got a little game on the jumbo, back, a little... Jumbo. Looks like a cutout. We might have to do that after. Oh, yeah, it is. You can make it into a little... Uh... I love this. I would probably, like, hang it up on my room. Look at these jumbo fruit loops. This is insane. First thing I noticed, too, is I think it's actually got more colors. I don't see... So there's no blue ones in the Mexican version of the jumbo or the fruit loops as, as B. So here's this. This is the jumbo snack. I'm going to try to open up this bag. I'm going to be honest, the smell is, uh, it's not as fruity as I expected. I've heard that these are more sugary, so here's the American Jumbo. And here is, so they're definitely, the Mexican one Jumbos are way bigger than the Jumbo Snack one, so they're definitely not the same. We're not going to do the Jumbo Snacks, I've done those already, I just wanted to compare the two Jumbos. So basically, the American is uh, extra large. This is double extra large. Here's the Canadian. Look how, look at the color of the Canadians. We're gonna compare that to the Americans too. Okay, you ready? Okay, thanks. And here's this is the Canadian. This so the Americans are the only ones with the blue ones. That we, so, for, so we're the only ones that carry the blue ones. As you can see, uh, their purple is a little bit darker than ours. Uh, our green is lighter. Theirs is a little bit darker. Uh, Jumbo one, too, is a little bit lighter. So let's, let's, let's dig in. Dig in. Smell that. That's the Canadian one. See that? I see that. Smell the American one. So smelling wise, the Canadian 
smells the most the most fruity is followed by the American and then followed by the Mexican. So right now in gold position is Canadian, American, and up last is oh. Mexican right now. Oh, I, I get how they're smelling. They're trying to get it nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know. Let's try the next one. Yep. Okay. That one hits you right away. The Canadian one, to me, is the strongest tasting one. Let's try the jumbo. The jumbo one tastes it. So, so far, jumbo's in last place. The second one? Yeah, the Canadian one's definitely better, huh? No, the, like that one. That one's better. Which one? This one? No, that one. This one? No. I agree, that's the Canadian one. Now let's put them in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Let's go, dig in. The flavor really kicks in right away on the Canadian ones. I will say that the color is more appealing with the American. The Canadian Fruit Loops are really, um, they don't pop. They're just like, uh, the green literally looks like peas, which is not the most appealing thing. Um, they don't have the blues, America's Only Blues, which is weird to me. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's just because they don't want to make blue in there because they already made blue in one. Maybe. Okay, mm. let's finish up that one. We'll be right back, guys. Mm. This bowl took a little bit of water cleanse our palate, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try the American ones. I know we've, we really haven't done this one, so let's see this. So. Again, way more colorful. Colorful than anything in the whole entire world. Mm-hmm. Because all their color is white. Do you like yeah. your cereal to have more color? Do you oh, like yeah. it to be brighter? Like yeah, I would like it to have a hundred colors. Yeah, I think most kids, if you're marketing, you want the pop colors like the American colors. Mm -hmm. Let's eat up. Okay. Fruit Loops never disappoints no matter where it's from. Crunchy. I feel like these are a little bit crunchier too than... But again, taste-wise so far, I'm going to have to go with Canada. Which ones do you like better, this one or the first one? Um, Canada. Yeah, me too. It's just like sweet, and mm -hmm. you feel the taste inside you. I'm sure you taste it right away, huh? Yeah. Take another bite. Next up, last but not least, Jumbo. Jumbo. And these are really our Jumbo. Look how big these are, big girl. Oh, this like is a hundred feet pounds. Hundred feet pounds? Yes. Must be a new. Uh, that must be core mass. Wait, there's another little one in here. Oh, it's left over. It's okay. All right. Oh my! God. How do you? Eat? How do you eat those when you're a little kid, huh? Uh huh. Daddy's a big kid. He they, can. They live. literally look like the Olympic rings, huh? Yeah. Those are some pretty big ones, huh? Yep. I think I would go crazy over that. Okay, let's dig in. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to eat it. Uh, uh, uh. I can't because there's two in here. Oh my. They're not bad, they're really crunchy. Yeah, it was probably the most crunchiest one of the three. You think so too? Mm -hmm. But I still think, taste wise, I think Canada. So these, I can taste, but the taste fades really quick. Whereas the Canadian seems to sustain throughout the, the eating part portion uh, while you're biting all the way through till you finish. So. Uh, 
Um, what do you think, Serial Warrior Princess? So, guys, my name. Um, I think it's. So, guys, I think it's like. Perfect. But what I think, I'll, I think 100. I'll give it 10 out of 10. I can't give these 10 out of 10. So, for me, I'm going to say, for look, Americans win the gold in looks. They're, the, they're more colorful, they're the prettiest, they, they pop, they have the extra color of the blue. Um, in wow factor, I'm going to have to go with Mexico because they're even bigger than the jumbo snacks. I, I so they're I, definitely not the same as jumbo snacks. They're actually bigger I, than the jumbo snacks. I just like going with Mexican because I like going with this one, but because I just love it. I just I just love doing cereal videos. I'm obsessed with doing it. Yeah, you are. But who wouldn't be? But for taste, hands down, Canada wins in taste. They're not the prettiest coloring ones, but the best tasting. At the end of the day, are you buying something for the way it looks when you're eating, or are you buying something for the way it tastes? You're going for the taste, right? It's, it should, Canada, you should definitely work on the color, but you've got the taste down pat. Yeah, so, the overall goad, simply because of the taste, and it holds up against the others in almost every other category too, is Canada. Canada wins the Fruit Loop Olympics. These are our winners. These were great tasting. I'm going to give it, it's a classic series, so I'm going to give it a 10. They, they hold up in crunchiness. They hold up in taste. They're fruity. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a good Fruit Loop? F-R-O-O-T Loop. Sometimes I put in you know, normal spelling too, so. So, that's all we have for today, right? I'm going to show you guys something. Serial Warrior Princess, who, which one did you pick? I mean, what is your winner of your Olympics? Because at the end, the, nobody is a loser. The same thing as yours. Can, can this it, one, Canada? This one, yeah, yes. I picked this one. Oh, I pick, I mean that one, Canada. We might have to, there might be a controversy. There seems I'm like voting guys, nowadays. I want to show you guys everyone something. Everyone wants to claim controversy. I want to show you guys as well something. But, uh, yeah. I'm obsessed with my dad. And that I'm okay with. So from one king to the other king, or <laughs> from one king to one of the kings of cereals, it can't go wrong with any of them. But if you had a choice, I recommend you try the Canadian Food Loops. And that's all we have for today. So what do we say? See you later. See you later. And also, everyone, love your daddies. Every, everyone, love your daddies. I love my daddies.